Salsa dancing styles from the United States like On One and On Two are extremely popular worldwide, but some have claimed that those salsa dancing styles are not authentic because they look different from other salsa dancing styles used in Latin America. But why do the salsa dancing styles from the United States look different from styles used throughout Latin America, specifically South and Central America? Well, in this video, we're going to examine that question and much more. So welcome back to Salsa Goals, and let's get ready to dive right in. Many people around the world have different ways of dancing to salsa music, and each of these styles is great in its own way. But why do styles developed in the United States like On One and On Two look different from the way many people in parts of Latin America dance salsa? Does this mean that styles like On One and On Two are somehow not authentically Latin American? Well, in the ongoing quest to answer this question, I discovered another important question that we need to answer first. Are styles like On One and On Two even supposed to look like styles that are popular? in places like South America? So first, we need to identify exactly what styles like On One and On Two were actually based on. Just like the foundation of a house, the Cuban son is the main foundation for today's salsa music, and it is also the main foundation for today's salsa dancing. For example, the stepping sequence that we use today comes directly from the dance of the Cuban son. In fact, most major styles of salsa dancing out there were initially derived in some way from the dance of the Cuban son. Modern salsa dancing in the United States is an updated version of the mambo dancing style that was popular in places like New York City's Palladium Ballroom back in the 1940s and the 1950s, but that style was also initially based on, drum roll please, the dance of the Cuban Sun. So what does all this mean? Well, here's just one possibility. While many popular salsa dancing styles from other parts of Latin America are impressive and exciting, those styles didn't necessarily influence the way that salsa is danced in the United States. Therefore, those other Latin American salsa dancing styles don't necessarily determine how styles like On One and On Two are supposed to look because they don't seem to have influenced the development of those North American styles in any way. Instead, to the best of my understanding, the only Latin American style that served as an initial foundation for On One and On Two was the dance of the Cuban Son. Therefore, the relevant question is, do today's On One and On Two salsa dancing styles still have any elements from the original Cuban Son? To some, it may not seem like it at first especially if the focus is on all the flashy turn patterns. However, although there may have been different styles of Cuban son dancing, the moves were still relatively simplistic when compared to many modern salsa dancing styles which have evolved over time to include more complex turns and footwork. Therefore, it might be best to look at just the basic fundamental moves of the style instead of the fancier complex turns and footwork if we want to find any connection to the Cuban son. In fact, if we were to study closely certain specific moves that some Cuban Son dancers used are similar to moves used by many on one and on two dancers today. Of course, the basic footwork stepping pattern that we use today is the biggest and the most obvious thing that definitely links on one and on two to Cuban son dancing. But also, other moves which were used in the dance of the Cuban son are still commonly seen today. For example, some Cuban son dancers did a move that's similar to the traveling crossbody lead with an inside turn for the follower, which can still be seen in today's salsa dancing. Or there was a move similar to the crossbody lead that ends in a left break step for the leader and that's followed up by a hands-free outside spin for the follower and this can also be seen in today's salsa. Or there was an outside spin with the hair comb move for the follower which can also be seen in today's salsa. Or there was the crossbody lead where the follower walks under the leader's arm. Today this move is sometimes referred to as the New York walk. In fact, even today, whether they're dancing separately or together, some modern on two dancers still occasionally use the original side-to-side -side basic stepping pattern of the Cuban son, as shown here. So, check out this video link at the top of the screen and see if you can pick out things that these Cuban son dancers do which are similar to moves used by today's On One and On Two Salsa dancers. But there has to be more to this story, because all of this still doesn't explain why styles like On One and On Two look so different from other Latin American styles which were also supposedly based on the Cuban son. So why is that? Well, we'll look at one major reason for that in our next video coming soon. So until next time, remember to stay safe, stay connected to the music, and above all, keep dancing salsa.